All right, so in chapter five, we move on to start talking about z-scores. And z-scores will hopefully be a pretty simple transition if you felt comfortable with the concepts of the mean and the standard deviation, because a z-score is going to use those values. So a z-score is a standardized distance from a mean. So x minus mu over sigma equals z. And what this means is we take some score of x, we get how far it is from the mean, and then we are gonna standardize that by dividing by the standard deviation. So every z-score is measured in standard deviation units. So a z-score of two is two standard deviations above the mean, because for this to be positive, x must be larger than mu. So we can quickly obtain z-scores, and the nice thing is they're all comparable. So if we had a set of x scores, and these five scores have a mean, assuming it's a population, of three, what is the z-score for the score five? Well, to do that, we need not only the mean, we need to again get a standard deviation. So what is the standard deviation for these set of scores? So we do that by getting, let's write our mean here and do our math next to it. So the deviations, x minus mu, we're gonna square all those. So we're gonna get one minus three squared. We're gonna get two minus three squared, three minus three squared, four minus three squared, and five minus three squared, which is negative two squared, negative one squared, zero squared, one squared, and two squared. So these then are gonna be four, one, zero, one, and four, which is 10. So our sum of squares is 10. So if the sum of squares is 10, the variance, if this is a population, the variance is gonna be that divided by the sample size. The sample size is how many scores we had. We had five. So variance is going to be 10 over five equals two. And that makes square root two the standard deviation. So in this case, if our standard deviation is rounded here to 1.41, and we wanna get the z-score for five, we're going to take z equals five minus three over 1.41. So that's two divided by 1.41, and z equals then 1.42. And so our z-score is 1.42, and that tells us that this is 1.42 standard deviations above average. And if a standard deviation is 1.4, and this is two above, it makes sense. We're not quite two standard deviations above. Being two standard deviations above would be 2.82 higher. So the score that's two standard deviations above would be 5.82. So we can't be two standard deviations above. We're about one and a half standard deviations above. And so this is how we can calculate a z-score for a score in a given set. It does require us to know the mean and the standard deviation. If that information is already given, we can really easily make any score into a z-score.